Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. Just want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a really cool blue wing, blue wing olive pattern called a Visidun created by John Barr. We're going to tie this in a size 16 on the Moonlit Premium Tagata Barbless Hook ML102. With that, I want to make sure and invite you to like the video, leave us a comment, hit subscribe and the bell to receive future notification. This helps us out a great deal as we work to provide good quality content and helps YouTube and other channels know that we're providing that content and show, show up in people's al algorithms. So thank you for your support. So we're using all I've done thread the 12 aught from classic whack or semperfly for the wings on this i've taken semperfly's medium done poly yarn okay and i've i've separated it in half i'm going to tie this in at that three quarter mark with a section that is the length of the hook shank. Now I'm just going to create and do a figure eight on this so that my wings are separated. This is really kind of a guides blue wing olive pattern. I'm going to stand these up just a little bit by actually wrapping around this base just like I would a parachute and you can see that just kind of pulls both of those in line. I'll take and wrap around that post just a couple times. And that just makes sure that I've got a nice splayed wing. Even that wing out. Now I'm just going to wrap rearward. I really like the classic wax because it lays nice and flat and gives me a good foundation for my fly. We'll just wrap that down to the bend of the hook. I'll kind of wet my fingers just to kind of pry those just a little bit. Now for the tail on this, I'm going to use some medium done Coke de Leon. I'm just going to take a couple fibers from here. I don't want very many, just a small hand, like couple fibers, like maybe four or five, six fibers. I want the tips to remain even, so you can see my fibers there. I want this tail to be just a little bit longer than the length of the hook shank to help give me proper proportions. Now we'll just secure that down before I get all the way up there, I'll take Pull that up so I can trim that down nice and even up by the wing post there. Now we've got that secured down. We'll come back to the tie in point and the tail. I'm going to take a couple wraps underneath that tail. And that's just going to help keep that tail nice and vertical. For the body on this, I'm using Vivas Body Quill Substitute. This is the olive color. Really, really cool color of quill. Now I'll just take and set that off kind of to the side there. 
secure this down just like before we'll trim it out Now I'm going to create a nice taper to my body with a couple wraps rearward and forward. And this just to me gives my fly a good profile in the water. I'm just going to half hitch this right here in front. Now I'll set it off here to the side. Now I'm going to take and wrap my body using the rotary feature on my vise. If you don't have a rotary feature, you can wrap this without it. Now I didn't make the body taper all the way up into that wing, but I'll wrap this all the way in there just so that I have a nice tie-in point. We'll secure that down. Trim it out. For the bayet, I'm using a medium done saddle from Whiting Farms. You can see I've stripped that down for my tie-in point and I've left about a quarter turn exposed as well so that I get a nice clean wrap up against that on that first wrap. I'm going to lift that up and put it behind it to help kind of stand that stem up. Now we'll secure that down. Now I'm just going to take and wrap this hackle. I should get about three wraps behind that wing there's three and three wraps in front And that three quarters mark is going to allow me to get a well proportioned fly and not crowd the eye of my hook. Now I'm just going to kind of pull fibers back. Create a little bit of a head. Now we'll take in whip finish. There's a three turn. Let's do another three turns just for good measure. Now I can take and trim out a few of those screw wampus feathers. And there you have the blue wing olive viz done pattern. We want to make sure and invite you to like the video, leave us a comment subscribe and hit the bell to receive future notifications and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Have a great night.